how just how difficult was was that one for you guys tonight? Like, where did that one just go wrong? We just gotta be better. We just gotta be better. Give them credit. Uh, they a good team. Uh, they, they just play harder than us. You know, and uh, we just gotta be better. That's was, there, all. was there much let up from you guys? I mean, once they kind of got out and running, did you feel like there was a let up on your end? No, I mean. Uh, we keep trying, but it wasn't good enough, you know. Like I said, uh, we have to be better against a team like that. Uh, we all in four against this team, and it uh, shows um, how much we, we, we need to work and, and uh, how much we need to get better. Chris, what is it in these blowout losses that you're seeing? Because I think it's 10 games already where you guys have lost by double digits and struggled. But what is it that you're seeing that's causing these things? I mean, we're going to go back and watch film and, and see what it is. I can't tell you right now, uh, but we have to, we just have to play harder. You know, we just have to play harder, be on the same page, communicate one to each other, one to another, and uh, yeah, just be better. Uh, but again, we, we're going to watch film and, and we're going to learn from this. Mike, oh, Mike talked about not seeing enough fight in games like this. Where, how do you generate that? Where's that where, where does that come from? No, he's right. He's right about that. Uh, you know, we got hit, hit in our mouth, and uh, we just gotta be able to respond back. And uh, I don't think we did that. Do you feel like teams, especially shooters, but and then of course New Orleans, they come in with a lot of confidence against you guys, like they're going to get good looks, or is it just coincidence that so many teams seem to shoot well against you guys? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are obviously frustrated. Fans voice their frustration as well. Um, a little, some boos out there. How, how difficult was that, and how much do you kind of understand their frustration? I mean, we, we don't want to lose that bad, you know. Uh, we, we're trying to win every game. Uh, every time we step out there, we, we, we're trying to get a, a win, not, not only for us, but for our fans, you know. Uh, we know how much this means for, for our fans and, and for us. So. Just seeing the, you know, that, that booing to us, uh, I didn't like it uh, because every time we step out there, we try to uh, give our best, you know, and uh, play hard and, and get the, the win for us and for the fans. So, yeah, but we have to be better. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Chris, uh, CJ McCollum from that second quarter, he kind of got off. He didn't miss anything. Uh, but plus that pass, and I think they had 30 boxes. But can you talk about CJ? Uh, shooting in that game because he's the one that got them going. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, give him credit. Uh, he's a great player. Um, I feel like we may, we cannot make mistakes against him. You know, he gonna make you pay, and uh, you just gotta, you know, stick to our game plan and and uh, make things hard for him. You know, I don't think we did that today. And uh, he he was out there. He felt com comfortable and and uh, he made us pay. Starters, starters fell down at the very beginning there, and New Orleans just kind of kept going from there. But what do you see in that like initial stretch with the starting five that you guys could have done better? Like I say, we just we just gotta play harder. You know, we just gotta come in and and you know be ready against a team like that. You know, they're a good team, so we have to be ready for that. Overall, two and two road trip. I mean, home stand before the road trip. I mean, how do you? Uh, it, it's a sour note to end on, but overall, two and two to go into this road trip. How do you guys feel as you? embark on this trip ahead, this five game trip? We, we we have a long road trip right now. Uh, you know, we're going to work out tomorrow and, you know, um, work on the things that we need to do and, and you know, keep moving forward. Now we got Pistons next. Uh, we got to get him and uh, we got to win as much game as, as we can, you know. All right, thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. You got it right, my. Domas, Mike talked about how, you know, you guys have had kind of a lack of fight in some of these games mm -hmm. like this. I mean, you know, I, I think you, you feel like you're a good team, but but the, on days like this, where, where how do you generate that fight? Where does that have to come uh, from? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, um, it's a team that beat us three times, you know, so it sucks. You know, I, I, I expected everyone to come out with, with, with more energy, you know, and um, I mean, I don't even know how to answer that question. You know, I mean, someone's beat you three times, you got to come out and just show some kind of fight. Is that something you can 
demand? Does the does the coaching staff need to do? I mean, it? we can talk about it all we want, but we got to show it on the court, you know. And uh, we just all got to find it, you know. Uh, basketball is a team, a team game, and uh, you know, especially us when we're when we're all locked in together, we're we're we're, we're a really dangerous team. So we just got to generate that. How unbelievable was it to see? At halftime, you guys only had like nine boards. You, you yourself usually have way more than that. And as a team, to have that few, how, what does that kind of say about what? I mean, if you don't get stops, there's no boards. If the ball's going through the net, you can't really get it. So, does a lot of that have to do with their length, also, just the way they kind of play and how? Or the rebounds? Yeah. Play? I mean, if the ball's going in, there's no rebound. So, I mean, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, I don't know how to answer that. Trying to end it or change to a little bit of a positive note, but the the group in the fourth quarter that mm-hmm. you that you guys saw end up getting to triple digits, but with Keon and Kessler and all mm-hmm. that, just what did you see from your perspective? Uh, it's great, you know, um, they have opportunities to come out and you know um, get some minutes, uh, get some experience out there, try things out, you know, and um, it's 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 great for them, you know. They all came out and I feel like they found a rhythm. So, like I said, uh, these guys are professionals. They're there. They always stay ready. Montes, uh only six fast break points tonight for the Kings. Uh, what, what was the uh, what was the Pelicans doing defensively to stop that? Um, they were making buckets, and we had to take it out under under the rim. You know, we can't. Uh, no rebounds. You know, we get rebounds, we run. They're scoring. That means we take the ball out of bounds. We can't run as fast. In your opinion, what does accountability look like? Uh, we we just got to call um, call it call it like it is. You know, if, if there's no fight, we got to call each other out. Coach got to call us out. You know, there's got to be some kind of fire that's going to light you up to go out there and play hard. Could you? No, did you notice a fan's frustration and we had there's some booing there? And- uh, of course, you know, I mean, it's it sucks. We're, we're a good team. We had gr- two great um, home games the day before, you know, with a lot of energy and fight. And tonight we didn't show that. So, I mean, it's it's normal. It sucks as players, you know, you're in your home court. But um, definitely understand that it was not our best performance. So our note to kind of end on the two and two home stand before the road trip. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of the big picture as you kind of go out on this? Uh, no, you know, at home, you know, the more we can win, the, the better, you know. And uh, two and two, I would say, isn't a great thing, you know. Does this team have a little bit of a psychological barrier against maybe this team specifically, but but in more general terms, like teams with size and length? Uh, I don't think so. I, think, I don't think we think that. You know, I mean, I don't think it goes through anyone's mind. At least it doesn't through mine. You know, and um, we just got to go out and compete. You know, there's there's no other excuse. Tomas, what do you make of the letdowns? You guys are, I mean, your record's fine, but it's the losses. How bad the losses are that mm-hmm. really stand out. Is there something yeah. you're, you feel in those games? Uh, no, it just sucks because, like you said, we're having a good, great season. You know, better than last year. It's just the losses we do have are usually really high. You know, so they definitely hurt more, and um, they're definitely concerning. You know, but um, yeah, I don't know how to answer that yet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Kind of lost the game today. Um, for us to perform that way and the lack of fight to, you know, to what to get back in the game, stay in the game, however you want to call it, um, is not non-existent. Um, and it's going to be tough uh, scoring when you know you have Keegan Fox and Malik go combined uh, five for twenty-nine. Uh, it's going to be a tough night. So give give New Orleans a lot of credit. They came in here and just flat out kicked our ass and did it for four quarters. Uh, and at the end of the day, like I said, you give them all the credit. And I'm sorry, Sacramento fans, for coming down and spending your money today. Mike, this is certainly not the first time this season that a team just seems to come in with a lot of confidence, especially shooting the basketball against you guys. I'm not going to ask you to speak for them necessarily, but just in your time in the NBA with whatever teams you've worked for, are there certain matchups or certain teams that you've gotten into a game against where players knew, okay, we're going to have a lot of opportunity and that gave them a lot of confidence? Uh, yeah, but the thing that the, the thing that I haven't experienced yet is, you know, um, just when teams had it going, just the, the, the lack of um, physicality and grit and fight back that you want to see in situations like this. Uh, I, I haven't, I've never experienced uh, going through it this many times. And uh, that's what's, 
that's what's bothersome, you know, because you know you're going to lose. And for sure, there have been teams that, you know, you've had matchup problems with. And whether you could, I've, I've gone on four against teams throughout the course of the year, or I've been part of a one and three, uh, you know, four game stretch against teams. And, uh, but the, the, the fight that was non existent today, and that has been there on a few, or that hasn't been there on a few occasions, um, that's the tough part. And, you, you know, again, I don't hear all the chatter, but like, I don't see it in guys' eyes, and I don't hear it. You know, there, there's, there's, you hear the chatter. When, if we're not playing well offensively, you hear that chatter. You know, but the the diving on the ground for loose balls, freaking just taking a charge, going vertical, hitting somebody. You know, I, I don't really necessarily feel that in situations, and that's that is bothersome. Um, but you got to give uh, New Orleans a lot of credit for doing what they did, too. It's looked like he was just kind of pain, but struggling and, and looking a little tired. Yeah, from from my understanding, he is. But that, that may be a question that you ask him. But I everything seems okay from, from me with him. You know what I'm saying? It seems like 